Hey, what's up everyone? This is Tyson at Titans of CNC. And today I'm standing in front of the Doosan SMX 3100 and I'm going to be running my program for the Titan 123M. In my machine right now, I have a big old chunk of aluminum which is 8 inches diameter and it's being held on by chunk claw jaws in the Rota THW Plus. So for the first tool, we're going to do some lathe work. And I'm going to be facing the part and then doing some pinch turning to rough out the OD. I'm using a CNMD 432. It's the same insert that I'm using both on the bottom turret and the upper spindle. We're cutting at 1200 SFM with a feed rate of 12 thousandths per revolution. For the pinch turning, both tools are running the same tool path. They're just splitting the depths of cut between the two tools. The bottom turret is starting the cut and then the upper spindle is following it running the next step to cut. It's following 3 8 behind because it has to stay behind the bottom turret because it's going in deeper. You can basically run the tool path in half the time because it's being split between the two tools. For the next tool, I have an inch and a half DFSP insert drill. It's running at 800 SFM with a feed rate of 6 thousandths per revolution. For the first stop, it's going to be running like a lathe drill, but I have it in the top spindle because I'm actually going to be using it on the second side and we're going to be using it to do some side drilling. For the third tool, I'm using the bottom turret with a 16 millimeter boring bar that's in a KM50 holder in a TACU block. We're going to be roughing out the hole we just made and I'm going to be going 1500 SFM with a feed rate of 12 thousandths per revolution. This is the same type of CNMG insert that was being used during the roughing operation in tool one. After that tool, we're going to do a mill operation. I'm going to start roughing out the milled features on my part by using a three-quarter core five end mill. It's going to be running at 10,000 RPM at 350 inches per minute. I've got a 10% step over. It's just doing a little bit of side milling to rough out that contour that we have going on at the front of the part. You can see it's a simultaneous cut that's using the C axis to move along with the X, Y, and Z axis on the mill head. Although I've locked the B axis so the tool is locked to the side position. The next tool coming up, we're gonna start doing some finish passes. So I'm gonna start by finishing the face of the part and turning across the OD of the part. This tool is a CNMG 431 and it's in the upper spindle because I'm going to be using it on the second op as well. It's running at 600 SFM with a feed rate of 4 thousandths per revolution. This tool, because it's in the upper spindle, can actually flip its orientation and then I'm going to be able to use it on the second op so I don't need to keep two finishers. For finishing, the grade of the insert I'm using is a KC5410 from Kenametal. After that, we're running some more lathe work. I have a 32 millimeter boring bar and it's doing a finish pass in the ID. It's got the same CNMG insert as the last tool. I'm running it at 600 SFM with a feed rate of 3 thousandths per revolution and that should put a nice finish on the part. You can see that these roughing and finishing boring bars that I got in here are quick change boring bars from Kenna Metal for the KM50 system. So for the next tool, we have some more lathe work. We're going to be using a three-quarter ID threading boring bar. The thread on the front of the part is one inch, 13 sixteenths by 12 threads per inch. The tool is designed to do those 12 threads per inch. Mastercam knows this and it gave me the correct feed rate to do those threads. It's running at 600 RPM and the feed rate is about 83 thousandths per revolution which is what Mastercam gave me to do those threads. So I just have to tell Mastercam what thread I'm doing and it gives the proper feed rate. So we have all the lathe work done on the first side. Now we're going to be doing some finishing with the end mill. It's the same core 5 but I've dropped the speeds and feeds to do better for finishing. I'm running it at 7,000 RPM and a feed rate of one and a half thousandths per tooth. This should give it a much better finish than what I was using at roughing. Now we have the last tool on the first stop, and this is a chamfer tool 
It's actually the same chamfer tool that we have in the Titan Building Block series. It's a 3 8 by 45 degree chamfer tool. The spindle's running at 10,000 RPM. We're just gonna go 50 inches per minute. And this is just gonna put a chamfer all along the milled features of the part. So now we have the chuck transfer. Both the bottom turret and the upper spindle are gonna get to a position where it's safe so that the second chuck can come up and grab the part. Once it's in position, the second chuck's gonna clamp, the first chuck's gonna unclamp, and then the second chuck is gonna grab the part and take it all the way back to where I can start machining the second side. That's it for the first operation. Be sure to check out our next video. We're gonna be working on op two on the second chuck. There's gonna be a lot more milling on the second op. Almost the entirety of it is milled out. We got facing with a shell mill. We got pocketing. We got multi-axis movement with an end mill. Be sure to check it out. I'll see you in the next video.